On this week's Community Connection, the Metropolis Theater provides entertainment and education to the northwest suburbs. The stars practice their dancing moves in Geneva. Plus, we learn how to eat healthy and get in shape for the new year. All this and more next on Community Connection. the benefits of regular exercise, but many of us don't stick to it. Let's head to World of Fitness for a few tips on exercising throughout the year. Hi, my name's Ernie. I'm from World of Fitness in Hickory Hills, and today I'm going to take you through some great exercises that you can use to start your fitness program this January. Today we're going to start out with the squat movement. It's been termed the king of all exercises. If you've only got time for one exercise in your fitness center, this is the one that you want to do. If your lower back and your knees are healthy, you will not get a better return for your energy than the squats. Carolyn's going to be my assistant today and we're going to walk through the proper technique. This is the squat rack. That's a 45 pound bar, okay? The first thing Carolyn's gonna do is get that bar right in the center of her back. She's gonna lift with her legs. Pause, and then slowly walk back. She's gonna get an even foot placing. Now Carolyn's looking up, and that's gonna help keep the lower back straight. Because on a squat, your descent will determine your ascent. If you go down crooked, you're gonna come up crooked. You can see how Carolyn is staying very much under control. She's going down slow, and she's coming up slow, keeping her back straight. On the bottom, she's thinking about pushing with her thighs. What's going through her mind right now, as she begins to descend, she is tightening the lower back and tightening the quadricep muscles. Her back is remaining perfectly straight. And what's important here is mind-muscle coordination. When Carolyn gets into a full squat, position, she's pushing out with her thighs. She's thinking about using the quadricep muscles. The next exercise that we're going to look at is called seated rows. This is probably the most popular exercise in a fitness center, but most people don't perform it correctly. First thing we need to do is we need to select the proper poundage. What I would recommend if you're a female that you do a weight that you can do 12 to 15 repetitions with. So with Carolyn, we're going to start with about 30 pounds. The first major mistake people make is they straighten out their knees on this exercise. When your knees are straightened like that, all that pressure and all that weight focuses on your lower back. We're going to put a slight bend in the knee. That's a circuit breaker. That will take the stress off the lower back. The next major thing people do wrong is they lean forward. And what that does is that makes it primarily a bicep exercise. The proper way to pull this is to keep the torso on a 90 degree and pull in towards your belly button and throw your chest out. When you throw your chest out, you contract the latimus muscle. It's a very important key to this exercise that you don't let your chest sag in, but as you're pulling the handle to your belly button, you're throwing the chest out, your knees are slightly bent, and important, you're pulling from the elbow, okay? You're concentrating on the back, pulling the weight, not your arms. Your arms are just hooked to the apparatus. Don't go away. We'll return to World of Fitness for more workout tips after this short break. You're watching the Comcast Network, CN100, Chicago. Welcome back. Let's return to World of Fitness for more great tips on working out. 
Now we're gonna move to the shoulder area and we're gonna use dumbbell movements to work all three muscles of the shoulder girdle. We have the front, which is the anterior head, we have the middle, and we have the posterior head. So your shoulder's made up of three muscles. And no one exercise will work all three muscles. So we're gonna show you an exercise for the front, for the middle, and for the rear of the deltoid. The first exercise that we're gonna do today for the shoulder is the side lateral raise, which works the middle muscle of the deltoid. A lot of people perform this exercise standing up, but I feel that when you stand, you can pick up a little bit of a cheat. When you sit down, it's all shoulder. You can't cheat on this. The first thing that Mike is doing is sitting down. His back is on a 90 degrees. The dumbbells are in a starting position underneath his hamstring. He's gonna bend his elbows slightly and raise the dumbbells just past shoulder height and back down slow. One of the major things on this exercise that you want to remember is you want the muscle to do the work. You don't want to start jerking. You want to come up slow. You want to pause at the top for just a second. And you want to lower the dumbbell slow. Keeping your eyes pointed straight. And you want to get high repetitions on this. You want to do 10 to 12 repetitions. Now we're going to move into the front lateral raise, and that's going to work the front part, the anterior deltoid. Um, Mike is standing with two dumbbells in his hand, and this time, what you'll notice, we're going to do each arm independently. That's called an isolateral movement. That's so Mike's mind can concentrate on one shoulder at a time, and his central nervous system doesn't have to split the signal. It's much more concentrated that way. So Mike is starting with the dumbbells against his thighs, and he's going to raise one arm at a time just above shoulder height. The key here, once again, is to let the muscle move the weight. You don't want to jerk. You don't want to pick up a rhythm. You're going to come just past shoulder height, pause, and you're going to come down slow, one arm at a time. If you're just starting out with this movement, you may want to try three pound dumbbells, five pound dumbbells, and when you can do three sets of 10 or three sets of 12, then you can start moving up into poundage. We're going to move into bent over rear lateral raises. Now this exercise may look similar to the first two, but I want you to notice one major difference. Mike is gonna be with his back bent on a 90 degrees parallel with the floor. And what that's going to do, that's going to put the stimulus on the rear head of his deltoid. So we're gonna be working back here. Mike's gonna pick up the dumbbells. He's gonna keep a slight bend in his knees. That's gonna keep the stress off the lower back. His back is arched on a 90 degree a bend in his elbows, and he's gonna come out to each side just past shoulder height and back together. These are called bent over rear lateral raises. This is working the area right here. And once again, because his back is bent over, it's concentrating the stress on the rear muscle of his shoulder girdle. Thanks for joining us today. I hope that you've been encouraged. I hope that you've learned some really good things. And you know what? As my buddy Arnold would say, you can do it. Just get started. On your way to feeling better, getting stronger, more vivacious, you can do it. To learn more about World of Fitness, check out worldoffitnessonline.com. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Community Connection. If you'd like to learn more about any of the stories you saw here today, log on to our website at cn100.tv. While you're there, send us any story ideas you may have. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Cindy Bravos. We'll see you next time.